Whether you are an elite athlete or a high-performing business leader, the pressures of competing in a global landscape are increasing. For some of us, one of the consequences is that we're not getting enough sleep. If you go back 100 years, we were sleeping about 9 hours average. Today we're sleeping about 7 hours. Electricity had a big part to play in that. Now we're talking more about social media, we're talking about taking cell phones to your bed. This can have a serious impact on our health. If we don't sleep for only a few days, everything starts to break down. Brain function, our psychological health disappears very quickly. If we don't sleep enough each and every night, we increase our risk of chronic diseases such as heart disease, diabetes, depression, and even some forms of cancer. Staying awake for 19 hours straight is actually equivalent to an 0.05% alcohol concentration in your blood. We don't really praise people for turning up drunk to work but we do give them praise for an all-nighter. Optimizing your sleep patterns is not only good for your health, it can also give you a competitive edge. One of the first industries to realize this was Formula One. During a season, we travel extensively. Last year, it was 250 hotel nights, about 800 hours of flight. And arriving means working in a high-pressure environment. For me, it was pretty obvious that if we were to improve the way we sleep, it would eventually translate into real performance on the track. So Mercedes turned to Hinsa Performance, a network of medical experts and renowned specialists on sleep and performance. Teams will often have to go back and forth from Europe to international races, and sometimes even in a week. And this has an enormous impact on their ability to sleep and reset their circadian rhythms. Sleep impacts your attention, your concentration, your creativity. It impacts your learning, your memory consolidation, decision-making. It even has an impact on your emotional intelligence. So sleep and recovery, and particularly jet lag, is a potential area where they can gain an edge over competitors. Formula One is about marginal gains. You cannot expect to perform at the very edge if you're not trying to achieve those marginal gains. The way we structure our traveling now is very much influenced by the professional coaching we are getting. When to travel, which time of the day, which airlines to take, where to stop over, how to sleep upon arrival. The drivers were the first ones to start optimizing their sleeping plans and obviously the team realized the potential. How can today's business leaders apply this model to maximize their performance? In addition to F1, we actually work a lot with corporate executives who are um, super performers in their own right. Some CEOs travel double the amount of F1 drivers. They are constantly battling with jet lag and making decisions that are worth millions of dollars and potentially thousands of jobs. The leaders in business are realizing that to get the most out of themselves and to get the most out of their staff, we need to prioritize sleep prioritize recovery so that we can become much more efficient in our working lives. Look after yourself. The better you feel, the better you perform. Sleeping, eating, keeping yourself fit are areas that you have to tackle. Of course you can say won't affect my dealings or my business in a, in a massive way, but the truth is it does, whether it is going to be 5 or 10% better. I don't know, but even if it's just 1% better, it already makes a difference.